everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about my August favorites because August has come and gone. So if you'd like to see what they are, please keep watching. I have three skincare items. Um, so let's just talk about those quickly. So this I've had for a long time and I've never opened it because I thought, eh, like, I don't know, what is this anyways? So basically, this is what it is. So this is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Essence Boosting Water. Okay, so at first I'm like, I don't understand this whole boosting water thing. I know it came out in Asia first and I know people are really big on it, but basically this is another step to your skincare routine. So if you hate like cleansing, toning, serum, moisturizer, you're really gonna hate this because this is a pre-serum. So you're gonna put, you're gonna cleanse, you're gonna tone, you're gonna put this bad boy on your face and then you're gonna put a serum and then you're gonna put your cream. And I was overwhelmed, but I busted it out because I'm like, you know what, I wanna try this. So. Ever since I've been using this, and I've been using it for probably a month now, and I've only used that much. Like, there's hardly, there's a time. Okay, so let me just break it down. So this costs about $30, but I've only used that much in like a month. How long is this going to last me? The rate I'm going? Maybe a year. This, ever since I've been using this, people have been com like commenting on my skin. They're like, what are you using? Your skin looks so radiant. This is basically the only new thing for the most part that I've been using in my skincare routine. And I really feel like it makes a huge difference with the hydration and the way my skin feels. After I wash my face, I put this on and my skin just feels like silk. And it doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch of product on my face. It kind of evaporates and it just feels so silky and so smooth. Now, I when I first put it on a cotton pad, like how you would use a toner, but the problem is that wastes so much product. You don't want to put this in because this is not a liquid. It is, but it's not. It's kind of like in between a liquid and a little bit of like a serum. It's like a watered down serum. So you want to put a tiny bit in your hand, and I mean tiny, and then work it into your face and all down your neck. I'm telling you, this is the bomb.com. Then I've been back on this mask from Lancome. It's a purifying mineral mask with white clay. And I like using this on my whole face when I feel like I am breaking out. Maybe that time of the month I use this. So I use it about once a week and I just leave it on for about 10 minutes until it starts to really crack. I wouldn't suggest leaving it on for any much more than that because it does get pretty drying and it is also good and like I said if you have a little bit of a pimple and you want to treat that overnight just put a tiny amount and go to bed and it really helps absorb and dry up the oil. This I've also had in my little cupboard of goods and I have never used it so this I'm so happy that I busted it out because I just finished my Clarins uh, face cream. I love Clarins face creams. I think they're amazing. But I had this one and I wanted to try it. So this is the Neostrata. It's their Night Repair Cream. So this kind of makes my face tingle a bit when I put it on. I only use it at nighttime after my serum. But it's because it has an AHA in it. So it's really good. It exfoliates. It hydrates. It's good for anti-aging. I really do like this. So the only two face products that I've been using this month are these two that are brand new on a daily, basically. So I don't know if it's the combination of these together that's really helping out my skin or just one of them, but I do know that my skin has never looked better. Now we're gonna get into makeup. So I received this Joe Fresh palette. So I have been testing it out. I do find the shadows, some of them are a little bit patchy and some of them are not as highly pigmented as I wish they were. So this is what the palette looks like. It has some really beautiful shades, some really beautiful tones. But what I've been doing every single morning is mixing these two light shades here. I mix them together and I use that underneath my brow bone. That is my everyday under the brow bone highlight. I've been doing it since I've got it. They're really, those two shades are really smooth, especially the one that has a little bit of glitter in it. It's not chalky and it just goes on and it gives your eyes, uh, under your eyebrows a really nice highlight and I do really like that. So for these two powders, like I've been loving these two light shades right here. They're really good quality. I ran out of my Becca under eye illuminating, like the brightening under eye primer and I was going to Sephora, like I was going. And then I was like, I have to have something in my makeup area that can kind of act similar to what that did for me because I'm on a budget and I have so much product and I, I really want to try to use what I have. So I pulled out my drawers and I was like, I'm going to find something. I'm going to find something. I'm going to find something. And I found something and I cannot believe that this, I've used this product before, but I never raved about it. I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was unbelievable, but this has changed my game. 
So this is, I've talked about this once before. I don't know what I talked about it in. But this is the Illumilift Brightening Cream. And it's for instant illumination. And my package is really dirty. And it has like this yellowy color to it. I'm almost that pan. It's sad. It's really sad. I know you can get this online. And I think maybe, I don't really know where else. But I'll link a, a, link a bar where you can buy, find this. But I think it is Canadian. This is, um, yeah, it's made in Canada. It's actually made by Box Cosmetics Toronto. Okay, the Becca Illuminate Eye Primer is great for brightening. But this, this brightens. But this is also a skin treatment. So this actually helps puff out your fine lines. This actually helps with your dark circles. This does have ceramides in it. Like this, this is a whole whack load of ingredients that are so good for your skin. So not only are you brightening your skin, you are helping your skin into treatment. That's why I'm absolutely in loving this. And this is making, I think this is brightens my eyes even more. And this also I like too, because it's not as, a, it's not as thick as the Becca under eye brightening thing. So Blending this out looks a lot smoother, especially if you're getting a little bit more mature. You don't want anything too thick under your eyes because it can cake up. But I've been absolutely loving this. I did weddings on the weekend and I use this on everybody of all ages. And it made a huge difference for really brightening up that skin. So I really do love this Illumilift Bomb. That's calm. Let's get into this. Rimmel sent me this a long time ago. It's their Exaggerate Eyeliner Liquid Black. I used it a couple times. Didn't care for it at all because I'll tell you why. The applicator, it's kind of like, it's a, it's not felt. I feel like it's not felt. And if it is felt, it's a damn hard piece of felt. So when I first used it, I thought this is really, 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 really hard. But I ran out of eyeliner. I don't even know what happened, but I started, I started using this and I started loving it. It's just, you have to get used to it. If you're not used to using this kind of brush, you just have to really kind of work with it, play with it, get used to it. So I was getting used to it. I was loving it. And I've been using this for like, basically my eyeliner today is this. I've been using it for the last month and I've been absolutely obsessed with it. Just recently they sent me the same thing, but in the waterproof formula. So I've been using both of these on the regular and I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. It stays on. It doesn't budge. It doesn't flake off. I use it on the weekend when I did bridal makeup. It, the, like the girl, when the... When the bride cried, she didn't get eyeliner everywhere. So I really, really do love this Rimmel Exaggerate eyeliner, both in waterproof and not waterproof. It dries in a matte formula, which is another thing I love. It dries completely matte. So that is awesome. And it's so affordable. It's at the drugstore. And this is almost my new favorite liner. I do really like the Physicians Formula at the drugstore, but I kind of think I'm liking this better because of the matte of this. The Physicians Formula, it does not dry matte. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So if you like a matte liquid liner, I would try these out. I've also been loving this duo brush on adhesive with vitamins. Um, I could never use a duo before. I was allergic to it because I am allergic to latex. So when they came out with this, it is latex free. So I decided to pick it up, try it out. It is awesome. And I love how the applicator is a little brush and makes it so much easier when applying fake lashes. And it holds all day, so I love it. I don't know what the vitamins are, but if they're gonna help my eyelashes grow, Thank you. So eyelashes, I've been obsessed lately with these MAC, it's a MAC um, eyelash. It's number 35, they look like this. They look so natural on, I know they look a little extreme, but when you put them on, they don't look natural, it's the wrong word, but they look like you have eyelash extensions on, they look like you, they're your own eyelash kind of thing, they don't look like you've glued a, glued a huge caterpillar on your eye. The only thing is, I had to cut a tiny bit in the middle of them, they were a little long, so I just kind of trimmed them a bit this way, just to kind of feather them out a little bit more. And in the strands of the lash, it's mixed with brown and black hair, so it's not so harsh, like not so dark. But this has been my eyelash for the month. I've been loving this. And every time I wear them, I get compliments. So love these. Okay, so highlighting product. This is crazy. I've been loving this product. I've had it for a long time now. And I've used it off and on. But for the last month, I've been just obsessed with it. This is the Joe Fresh highlighter. Okay, everybody? Hi, Joe Fresh. It's called Luster. It is so affordable. And it is, let me show you what it looks like, if you can see. It's just such a nice natural highlight so when you hit this sun it just looks like your skin but better it has a little bit of gold has a little bit of pink in it but it just looks like your skin 
but just healthy. So I've been loving that. I use it all over my cheekbones. I've been using down the bridge of my nose, sometimes underneath my eyebrow, even sometimes as an eyeshadow. It's been amazing. Another thing that I was sent that I'm absolutely obsessed with too is this Rimmel blush. And I thought, okay, so I don't mean to be rude, but I, for the most part, think that a lot of blushes at the drugstore, the drugstore ones, are just not that good. Like, I feel like it's chalky. The pigment's not that good. I feel like it's patchy. So when I was sent this, I never, I never really, I never used it. I kind of just threw it in, and then one day I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try it out. So this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in number 150, Live Pink. This is the most beautiful pink. It has, <clears throat> I don't use a little brush that they give you. I don't know. It's that, now that, they can improve on. But... At least they give you a damn brush like let's get real so this is like a soft soft pink color and when you put it on it gives your skin the most radiant because it has a nice glow to it and it looks so natural so it just gives your cheeks this flush this doll like pink flush with a little bit of glow and it looks so healthy the lipstick I've been using a lot this month is by Chanel it is the number 34 it's their Rouge Allure Velvet so I got this as a gift one of my great friends gave this to me, and um, I'm like, Chanel, overpriced, holy shit, like this is like what, 40 something dollars for lipstick? That is damn expensive, and I'm like, it's a name, it's just a name, whatever. So I was given this as a gift, never have I ever tried a Chanel lipstick. I probably have talked about this before, but there's the color. It's just this beautiful, it's almost like a natural color. It's not too overpowering. It's great to wear with any kind of eye look. But the thing about these lipsticks, it's not just the color, the formula. It is so silky and so buttery. It does not bleed. And that is so hard. I find a lot of lipsticks that aren't matte are just, they bleed. They bleed. And I that's why I'm like, kind of hate lipsticks I wear a lot of liquid lipsticks. They find a lot of them bleed on me. A lot of them don't stay on. This one stays on, keeps your lips hydrated, keeps your lips smooth, and does not bleed. Chanel, I, I want every color of this formula of the Rouge Allure Velvets because they are unbelievable and I love it and I cherish this lipstick. Okay, I bought this. Um, quickly gonna talk about it. I never have I bought this. Everyone talks about this. It's the NYX. It's their micro brow pencil and I got the color taupe and then I got their mascara, their eyebrow mascara in the color chocolate. This stuff is, this eyebrow pencil, let me just tell you, this is, I've never tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, I've never tried it, but um, it's supposed to be comparable to this, and I absolutely love this. It The precision that this pencil gives you, because it's so tiny, you can draw little hairs in, you can fill it in, you can get your tails so fine, because this is so amazing, and the color taupe is just perfect, because it's not too light and it's not too dark. And their brow um, gel, it's not too hard. The color is perfect. I really like it for just quickly. Oh, Christ, I got it on my shirt. Shit. It's a perfect brow color. And together, they make the best pair. And it's very affordable. And again, at the drugstore, very, very, very affordable. Three more items. I've been using this eyeliner a lot this month. I use it in my waterline. This is Stila, and it's the Lionfish. Lionfish eyeliner. It is waterproof. It's a brown with a little bit of shimmer in it. Uh, holds all day. It really goes nicely with a lot of eye looks. If you're going to do copper, if you're going to do browns, if you're going to do blacks, if you want to do a neutral eye. This ties everything together, and I really like this, and it does stay super creamy, and you just twist it up, and it just glides on like a dream. And then all I have left is two mascaras that I bought. This is the Clinique, which I'm so impressed by. It's the Clinique Lash Power Flutter to Full Mascara. It's the one where you kind of like pick your volume, you twist it, and then the little brush comes out on the end. This mascara is great. It gives me great length, great volume, and it does not smudge, which is amazing because I find a lot of uh, mascara smudge underneath my lower lash line. This one doesn't, and it is bomb. And then the other one I've been loving at the drugstore is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara. The one that has the primer built in and the fiber little tubing mascara on the other side. This is such a good mascara if you want the drama, if you want your eyelashes lifted, fanned out, and if you want a two-in-one product that you don't have to get a primer, I really highly suggest an eye, I really highly suggest a mascara primer. I think they're so important for making your eyelashes look thick and full. So this is the teats. So this will be the end of my August favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have fun if you're going back to school, be safe. Don't get into any trouble, get good grades, because let me tell you something. 
My mother always used to tell me, Courtney, go to school, learn. You're gonna be a scientist one day. She didn't tell me that because she probably knew I could not be a scientist because <laughs> I'm not smart enough. But uh, why do I think that's hilarious? I don't know. But uh, always listen to your parents because for the most part, they're right. But I highly suggest that you do something that you love because if you do something you love in life, you will excel no matter what. Even if, like me, I went to school for fashion and makeup. Like really, people are like, oh, she's gonna be, she's gonna be making minimum wage your whole life. You know what, that's not true. I don't make minimum wage and I love my job. So I just believe, do what you want to do and do what you're passionate about because if you're super passionate about something, whether it's lip liners and eyeliners or rocks or the sun and the moon and all that shit outside, whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, bye.